Sandman. So, next up we have Ashbury Tropics. Safe King on Papua New Guinea. This is going to be a big ask. Ashbury Tropics will be desperately looking for a win here so that they can make sure that they proceed through to the cup competition tomorrow. Three pools of four. The top two in each pool, plus the best two third places go through. So Ashbury Tropics will want to be making sure that they are one of those lucky people to go through. They had a 21-all draw against Jam Province and a big 32-nil loss to Shogun. So this Ashbury Tropics team, number of uh, Hong Kong players in here, Will Pandey, Hong Kong International, Adam McLean, all the way from Loughborough in the UK, and his uh, home club is Kettering RFC, which is my old club, Cookie. Oh, very good. So uh, I, away from home. Yeah, good I received here. a call about six months ago letting me know that uh, Adam was coming. The guy that called me, Dougie uh, Bridgman, one of the absolute legends of the Kettering Rugby Club uh, over the last 50 years but sadly passed away a couple of months ago. So uh, I know Dougie will be looking down and expecting big things from Adam. Oh, and nice touch, nice touch, Richard. And a couple of other guys, Will Morris, Alex Todd, Will Morris from the Kowloon Club, Alex Todd at Sandy Bay, and Johnny Jet Shoes himself, number 16, Cam Taylor from the Sandy Bay Club. They're taking on this Papua New Guinea team. And hopefully later on in the contest, we'll see the big fella himself, Nems Nandolo. So Tropics getting this ball underway pretty quickly. Tom Bellerin carries it deep into the PNG 22, but they give the penalty away. PNG immediately tap and go. But not from the mark, so they get another opportunity here. And they've got a long way to go, but PNG have showed a lot of endeavour today, Cookie. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I, I, I was uh, was there or thereabouts in their first game, and I thought they were a little bit at sea. I think it's, you know, just that, the early nerves and coming down to the 10s, you know, here in Hong Kong, it's uh, up to the 10s, rather. It's, you know, it's always a bit daunting for any side, and they came in here and they were like, you know, I felt that they just, they just were... They, they didn't have the structure or the or the or the or the content that that they, that they would prefer and, and the execution that they'd want to have you know coming into this kind of tournament and i think we'll see a totally different side as we as we as they now warm into this third game of the day for them so george way with the throw into this line out as they've cleared almost to halfway good hands off the top there from the big man Willie Kalai. And Jonah Tokiong just losing the ball on the floor there. So Ashbury Tropics get an opportunity to get their hands on this ball again. 
again with PNG, I don't think it's anything in terms of intensity. I think the intensity's there and the will's there. I just think they're, 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 they're those, those, little, those little bits, those little things that make the difference between holding onto the ball and losing the ball in contact, you know, the, the, the letting them down and have let them down pretty much all today. So that's definitely got to be a work on for them for tomorrow. So Tropics have got a 3-1 split behind this. The scrummage almost kind of midfield on the 10-metre line. Just Adam McLean on this right wing. As Arthur Haig puts this ball in, a hell of a drive from PNG, but a judge illegal by the referee. And Tropics not taken from the mark. Gives PNG the opportunity to uh, get back. Oh, good bustling run there. From Fangu, Fangu. And Kowloon's Will Morris had an opportunity to, uh, to get away, but ball just drifting forward. So PNG get a chance to get out of their own quarter here. Scrummage just outside there, 22. I can see, I can see the boys in sequence corner salivating there, Cookie. <laughs> a scrummage right in front of them, yeah. just what they want to see. <laughs> No question about it, and they'll be well oiled, I'd say, by now, by this time of the day. And lots more to go tonight and tomorrow. Forget about the sevens. That's another chapter and verse. So, five and a half minutes gone, and uh, PNG really forcing Tropics to play. Tropics go quickly. Toby Jureka giving it a nudge. Alex Todd there, that black headgear carries it in. Haig gets scragged on the floor there. Adam McLean gets a good ball out wide. Hit and spin there from Will Panday. Fanga Fangu shrugging off the people in the contact there. And Jonah Tokyong comes through and Adam McLean dancing feet from the Loughran Kettering man scores the first try yeah, for was, Ashbury Tropics. I think, it was, I think in terms of all the pressure and the penalties, Cookie was only a matter of time. Um, they were going to breach the line. You know, PNG, they've just got to be careful. You know, again, their discipline's letting them down. There he is, young Adam McLean. Good to see that he's had a haircut. Sporting a horrible mullet when he arrived. <laughs> but a couple of steps off that left foot. Scores right in front of the sportsman's bar there. And a oh, good take there from Alex Todd. Catches it on the full, but had him heading into touch. Well tackled by his opposite number there, Willie Kalai. Tough men, these PNGers. Jonah Kautu. Leaves the ball for Cameron Y here. See Scott Lindsay enjoying a cold beverage in the sportsman's there. Oh, and a good take there from Kalai. Oh, 
dropped the shoulder and kept those legs pumping there. And just spilled forward there, and Toby Jureka gets his hands on that one. Just doing enough to make a dog's breakfast of that cookie. Yeah, it's again, you know, it's very frustrating. This PNG team, I think they've just got, I think they've got so much potential, you know, and the, you know, the players, they want to throw the ball around, they want to play with intensity, they want to play with heart, they want to play with passion. It's those last, those little, last little one bridge too far, those last little 50 50 passes, and those little mistakes that are really costing them here. As I said, Tropics will be looking for a result, and they're streaming through on this. Too it's far. a foot race, but just too far, so they'll come all the way back, I'm sure, for the scrummage. Just too many shredded wheat for breakfast there, Cookie. Yeah, Way too think, much on that one. And again, the wind, I mean, it's just swirling. Like, one minute it's, you know, going north-south, then it's going east-west. It's just hard to read, and unfortunately... You know, yeah, he gave a bit too much there, and, and it caught caught a bit of breeze, and just rolled end to end into, into the into the dead ball area. So under two minutes to go to the half. I'd like to see P and G just play, try and play with a bit of freedom here, and just try and create something. Everything so far from them has been pretty much route one. And referee again penalises PNG. Seems to be fairly pedantic on this scrummage, which is not doing PNG any favours. Will Morris stepping in field there, cops a bit of a high shot as he steps into that one. Jureka just lets that one go on a big meeting of the men in the middle there. <laughs> Charlie Crawley, big fella himself, gets flung to the ground there. Yeah, I think, you know, again, I think that's just uh, tantamount to the frustration that the, these PNG players are feeling right now. They just feel like they can't just, they can't win a trick. But they're, in fact, they're their own worst enemies, just penalties, giving penalties away and momentum. They're just not creating any momentum at all with the position that they've got. Good to see Paul Renouf in the background there. Former policeman, but now part of the Hong Kong Scottish Club. So Tropics retrieve the ball. Big lift there. Tom Bellerin on a good step. And oh, a good nice ball, ball there from Adam McLean. Will Morris bustling, keeps his legs pumping, and that's a good finish there. He had a lot of work to do when he uh, received that ball. Yeah, good work by Willie, no doubt about it. You know, good execution onto the outside, but yeah, he had a bit of work to do, all right. And uh, as we know, as we've seen him done in the past, in the Premiership over a few years, you know, the man's got the goods when it counts. There he is, Will Morris. As we see this wide out attempt is a good strike and the flags go up that is all important just putting a bit of a dagger in the heart of png right on the half there that try by morris good ball from the claim morris hands off that last man as ron butler tried to uh haul him to the ground but uh 14 nil at the half. No fireworks in particular in that half from Ashby Tropics, but they uh, they just managed to keep their their foot on uh, on the PNG uh, head. I felt you know never really let them uh, attack into their half. So good half of rugby from Ashby Tropics. Yeah, again, no, 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 uh, no doubt about it. Really good half by them, and and again, PNG. You know, they'll be reflecting on that. Coach at half time, 
you know, he's got to be just saying to the boys, hey, guys, just it's those little things, those little mistakes, the discipline, you know, you're creating stuff, but you're not finishing off. Uh, and you've, they've done that like three or four or five times, and that becomes, you then become, you try to push it just a bit too hard, you know, the bit of frustration comes in, and then, you know, you're pushing the pass, you're pushing it, and they don't need to do that. They've still got 10 minutes of rugby. It's only 14 nil. You know, one quick try at half time, it's back to 14-7, and then, you know, we've got a big game on our hands. So, uh, but all credit to, to Tropics. I thought they managed it really well that first half, and they deserved to be ahead 14-0. And from the looks of it there, Namani Nandolo just with his singlet on and his player pass around his neck. Doesn't look like he is going to be taking the field again this evening. One of the more heralded players here. Super Rugby titles, English Premiership titles, World Cups of Fiji. I mean, you look at him coming off and he looks like Dad can, and with his sons, you know, it's just crazy how big that man is. Beautiful, beautiful man too. I, I thought he was very impressive in the press conference uh, yesterday. Uh, just, you know, giving his thoughts about the tens and about rugby in general. I thought he was very eloquent. I really enjoyed his, uh, his presentations. High hanging ball there from PNG to start off. They come back against the grain here. Adam McLean, a little stutter step there on oh, a little chicken wing there. And he tried to just put the ball out the back door to Charlie Crawley. Probably looking for him to come on the scissors and step inside there, but uh, great work from McLean. Really showing that he's a great exponent of this... Uh, Short form game. Yeah, good heads up play and seeing the gaps and having enough gas to really, you know, motor up on the outside there and just, you know, it would have been a a dream finish if it had to come off. It was probably the right option given the situation, but you know, those are always 50-50. Those ones. Be interesting to know what uh, Ashbury Tropics coach Ben Gollings. <laughs> I think still the leading point scorer of all time on the HSBC 7 series had to say to them. Obviously these 10 to 7 tournaments are never won on day one. It's all about making sure you're there for day two. Fit and healthy. So Tropics just putting some pressure on PNG. We're on a good bust out there. PNG very much playing this route one. Ben Kite getting over the top there. But uh, it's a knock on. Once again, ball security was an issue. You know, they're running hard, they're running fast, but it's just that last bit, ball security, letting them down. You no, know, I'll be curious to know how many, if any, players from this PNG side were in the 2016. World Series semi-final, seven semi-final, and the loss to Russia. Um, because they play with that sort of intensity. There's plenty of work going on in that scrummage. And pulling away from that. Just losing the ball forward. In the contact, PNG putting plenty of pressure on. And fantastic to have everybody here and listening in around the world. The tradition Hong Kong Football Club tens, hashtag world's best tens. Yeah, fantastic to be here, Richard. Fantastic to be part of it. Feel privileged, feel special. And, uh, you know, we've got we've got all day tomorrow. Well, a lot of 
A lot of heat coming through there. And it's yet another scrum penalty. And uh, the referee issues a piece of cheese for Cameron Y. Alex Jones to Fungu Fungu, who bustles his way through for his own try. His work just before half-time gave Will Morris the chance to finish on the left flank. But he took that one all the way himself. And Again, just that sustained pressure in there, you know, in their own 22 PNG and not being able to get out, get out of that, you know, just they were just being hustled, hustled at every opportunity by the tropics and good on them. And so. then, you know, out of that, you know, they form a, they, they force a scrum penalty and there then a result. Is. Fangu, a Fangu. The try. Just let that ball go and picked it up again. And the extras added by Adam McLean. Wonder if his family are watching him for Rushdom and Hyam. But again, the ball smashed out on the full. And it looks like they're opting for the free kick on halfway, having had a look at the line out. Ball in the hands of Uni Patrick. Now flips it over to Ron Butler. It's a short arm, so cannot go direct to touch here. Oh, a little show and go there from the big fella. So again, PNG falling foul of the referee. And Ashbury Tropics bring it to the left. Oh, great. Uh, catching the covers there and the tropics guilty of a little bit of skullduggery on the floor there oh big fella big solid carry there from tony joe but uh tropics all rights but on the floor they sweep down this side alex todd and that's a good tackle pops the ball inside but it looks like he had just put a foot in touch interestingly i thought that would have been a png ball but uh, off they go and that's an easy run in it for was a second a, try for yeah. Fungu Fungu. You're right, Richard. It was a, a PNG ball. They took a quick line out and tried to kick it out, and it didn't. didn't it went straight into the arms of a of a Tropics player, and they were able to get back onto the onto the onto the attack. Try number four there for the Tropics. Successfully converted. So now out to 28 points, the nil lead, with about two and a half minutes to go. A lot easier running that time for Fungu Fungu. Decent run down this left flank by Alex Todd. Just pinned his ears and went for the corner but got run down. Pakalani goes with a short kick. Oh, and they come up with a ball. Got his hands through there, Jonah Tokiong. But it's dropped into the hands of Fungu Fungu. Ben Kite. Oh. And let's hope that he doesn't reach for the cheese, but he does. Thought that was a genuine attempt to <laughs> intercept the ball. 
Alex Jones pops the ball out. And an easy run in for Jack Edwards. Try number five. 33 nil, kick to come. Yeah, this PNG side, you know, heads are down. But uh, they're, they're not out. But I think, you know, these guys will be, I think, looking forward to just having a shower and, you know, doing a bit of a, a bit of a reflection on, on how the day's gone for them and re doing a regroup tonight over dinner and hopefully getting up tomorrow with fresh heads and, and a bright new day. Well, that's a decent nudge, but uh, no cigar for Pakalani. So we just see the replay here. Just nicely drew the last man and Jack Edwards in. Easy score. Oh, a clever little kick over the top and he's recovered his own kick. But Tropics have scooped that ball backwards. Alex Todd, ball above his head. And a uh, little bit of afters there. Just bouncing the man into touch. PNG men looking after each other, and that is it. No side. And 33 points to nil. Ashby Tropics will be going through to the Cup tomorrow with a win and a draw. PNG will be back for the knockouts tomorrow. Thanks, Richard. Great to be uh, in your company. I'm going to hand over now to Kim, uh, who's going to finish off for the evening. And I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow. Thank you very much, Cookie. Cookie signing off. I've uh...